What is up, you Tarver Academy sword horses? Let's learn some math today, shall we? We're talking about the distance formula. I don't pause between sentences, just keep rolling. Run on sentences, here we go. What's the distance between two, three, and five, five? These are both coordinates. You try it, we'll answer it together. Ready? And you've paused it, you've resumed it, you've got a chance, you've got, you've taken a shot at it. So let's see if you got it right. Okay, here we go. What's the distance between this coordinate and this coordinate? We, we didn't draw this on a graph. We draw a graph where ch there's a chance it could not be equal, it could be a decimal, we don't know. I like to use the distance formula, okay? And if you don't remember, usually you have a formula sheet with you. If not, it's not too bad. Um, you just do the radical of, and then you've got x2 um, minus x1 squared plus um, y2 minus y1 squared. All right, <clears throat> and then you just plug them in and solve it. So let's see if we did. If you want to pause it and try it, now that you know the formula, you can, um, but we're gonna work it. Here's what I always like to do. Whenever I'm doing something like this and you've got like a lot of working parts, um, your Y2s, your Y1s, all that, I like to label it on my coordinates, that way I don't get mixed up. So all the twos and ones mean is that you're picking that as your first coordinate and your second coordinate. So let's say this is our first coordinate because it's up there first. So this is our X, because it's, remember, X, Y, so our x1, our y1, our x2, and our y2. If I label that, all I'm doing is plugging in what I've already like delegated or delineated out of there, okay? So I'm doing my square root sign. Don't forget that. Some kids in the process of working this problem, they just like leave the square root sign off to the side like it's a spare tire on the side of the road. Don't do that. x2 is five. I circle also to make sure I used everything. So five. Minus sign, our x1 is 2 squared plus, then you got y2 is 5 minus, our y1 is 3 and squared. Now we just simplify it, okay, or solve it. So we work in parentheses first. So 5 minus 2 is 3 squared plus 5 minus 3 is 2 squared. And then we do three squared is nine, it's all under the radical, plus four, and then we've got square root of 13. Now, if you've typed that in your calculator before, you know it's like a messy number because like our perfect squares, they, they go four, nine, and then 16, because three times three is nine, four times four is 16, so this falls in the middle of three and four, so it's probably gonna be like three point something, 3.2 or three or four, I don't know. Tell me in the comments, what is it, three point what? Um, so you would get an answer there. What is the distance between? I did not tell you, put it in a decimal, round it to the nearest hundredth. I didn't say keep it in radical. So you keep it either. I like this because it's the exact answer. If you do a decimal, you're gonna have to round it. You can't write all those numbers usually, okay? Um, so I like this because it's the exact correct answer. If your teacher didn't tell you, I'd probably leave it like this. Or you might even just write radical 13 equals and then you could write 3 point whatever, 4, 8, maybe? I don't know, you tell me in the comments. So that's what I would do. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for learning with me. It's like I always say, always be learning. Have a great day. Learn some math. You are not bad at math. You're always improving. See you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.